All right, guys. I got quite the video for you guys today. You know, um, this video is five things not to wear for wedding videographers. So five things that you shouldn't wear as a wedding videographer. You know, so I'll put some things in there for both men and women. So, so this is five things that I personally recommend that you shouldn't wear as a wedding videographer but you know of course it's just my personal opinion you know you can do whatever you want to do it's your business you know if you want you can wear bikini you know or you can just go in speedos it's up to you it's your business so you know do what you want to do <laughs> Anyway, so like I said, you know, these are just my recommendations of what you should wear as a wedding videographer. And of course, it's your business. You can wear whatever you want to wear because, you know, you're not representing my business. You're representing your business, you know. So it's up to how you want your business to look. So however you want your business to look is how you're going to represent yourself when you go to do a wedding. So you have to put that in mind every time you are out there shooting a wedding that you are um, representing, you know, you're, you're representing yourself um, as a business. And um, the one thing I always do when I'm at weddings is um, I treat a wedding like an audition. You know, what I mean is the bride and groom might have, you know, guests in there that I'm going to have a wedding later on and stuff like that. So, so you don't know who's watching you and seeing every move you make and um, maybe even, um, you know, qualifying you if you should shoot their wedding. So that's how I treat um, every wedding. I treat every wedding as an audition. So I feel like I'm auditioning and um, for other people, for other potential clients. So that's how I approach weddings. So that's why I have to present myself in a way that, you know, I'm just, I'm just not there for the bride and groom. I'm also there. So other people, other potential clients, um, their family and friends can look and be like, you know, I like the way this guy is carrying himself. I like the way, you know, um, he represents himself. He presents himself and stuff like that. So um, they might want to book you for their wedding or for their son's wedding or whatever. So that's how I approach weddings. I approach weddings like an audition. So that's how I feel um, is the right way to do it. But of course, you can approach weddings however you want to approach them. It's your business. You can do whatever you want to do, as I said. But this is uh, my um, advice to you guys and my tips to you guys, especially um, the beginners and people who are really not, you know, like neck deep in this game. So there you go. So let's get to it. So number one, what I recommend you shouldn't wear as a wedding videographer is flip flops. So flip-flops, sleepers, sliders, whatever you want to call them, you know, different couches, call them different names and different countries anyway. So over where I'm at, we call them flip-flops and we also call them sleepers and sliders and slides and stuff like that. Anyway, I love that word, stuff like that. I love that word. So you're going to hear it a lot and I'm sorry in advance. Anyway, so guys... Flip-flops. Why shouldn't you wear flip-flops at a wedding, right? You might ask, like, Francis, why shouldn't I wear flip-flops? Well, um, there's an exception here. If you are a lady, you know, women, you're good to go. You guys can wear flip-flops. You guys can wear sandals. You guys can wear slippers. You know, women, you guys can wear anything, you know. Um, not anything, but, you know, you guys on this part, flip-flops, slippers, sandals, you guys are good. You guys are good to go. You guys can wear this. But for guys, I don't recommend that you guys wear this um, because, I mean, like, it's a wedding. It's a formal event, you know, so that's one thing you should know when you are doing a wedding is it's a formal event. 
people are dressed to, you know, like it's a tuxedo event, it's a dinner, you know, everybody's dressed up formally, you know, every, people are not there just like they're going to the beach or whatever. And um, it's okay to wear flip-flops or sandals, stuff like that. <laughs> it's okay to wear flip-flops and sandals um, if the bride and groom requested you to do so because some weddings, you know, some weddings have like themes. So some, some themes might be like, okay, so it's a beach wedding theme. So we're going to need all the guests and the vendors to wear to dress like they're going to the beach. So they want all their vendors and all, you know, and all their their guests to dress like they're going to the beach. So they um they um they request that you wear flip-flops. And that right there is a goal. You can do you can wear flip-flops and stuff. But just for yourself, if the bride and groom didn't request that you wear flip-flops, then don't do it. You know, because you are going to, um, you know, an event where everybody's going to be wearing dress shoes and then you're going to be there wearing flip flops. It doesn't make any sense. Don't wear flip flops, sandals, whatever. Don't wear that. So that was number one. Number two is heavy boots. So don't wear any type, any kinds of heavy boots. And again, it's my opinion. It's my recommendation. Don't wear any kind of um heavy boots heavy boots i mean like you know like construction boots like timberland boots and anything that's going to be you know heavy that has a steel toe in it anything that's going to be heavy for you to move around you know don't wear it you know especially guys like women maybe their boots are not that um that heavy as men but also you know the the thing with boots is you're going to be doing weddings. Like a wedding is like a full day event, you know. Most of my, or most if not all of my weddings, you know, I get booked over five hours, six hours, seven hours. Sometimes even, you know, I've done 12 hour weddings. So just imagine wearing like, you know, a boot, you know, a Timberland boot at a wedding like that. Or even polo boots, just like boots, you know, heavy boots, construction boots. It's just, you, you just can't, you know, you can't, um, you, you know, you're not going to be comfortable, you know, be, feel, um, be generous on your feet, be generous on your ankles because those things are going to, you know, they're going to kill you later that night or later that day or later next day or whatever. So just, you know, I, I recommend that you don't wear boots guys. Men and women, I recommend you don't wear boots. I, I, I recommend you wear something comfortable, but not as comfortable as flip-flops unless you're a lady or unless if you're a guy, if they recommended you to, if they, um, I'm sorry, if they requested you to, but um, don't wear boots, you know. And um, I, what I recommend is dress shoes, um dress shoes with a soft with a soft sole inside comfortable sole inside or you can wear um sneakers like i um i would recommend dark sneakers like dark blue but the perfect shoes of course is black you know black so that way you know um they don't call any attention to themselves so just anything black sneakers, you know, black sneakers, comfortable sneakers, New Balance or Nikes or whatever, it doesn't matter, you know, whatever you, whatever brand, doesn't matter. I'm not getting paid by anybody to be like, oh, you should wear Nike, man, let's just do it. You know, I'm not getting paid by none of those guys. So you guys can wear whatever you want to wear, you know, just as long as it's comfortable because you're going to be standing for a whole day. Because let's face it, a wedding is not a, you're not going to be sitting in an office, you know, and you can put your feet up or take your shoe off, your feet off or whatever, your feet off, take your your shoes off. You're going to be on your feet the whole time, you know, unless like you, unless you go to eat or a few breaks here and there, but you're going to be on your feet for at least 95% of the time. So just wear something that's going to be comfortable for you. And um, that's going to be generous on your feet. So number three is um, 
bright colors. So don't wear bright colors, you know. You don't want to stand out um, to the guests. Because the thing is, like, when you wear bright colors, especially during the times like the ceremony, when the bride and groom is, um, when the bride and groom are up there, and um, I usually shoot solo by myself. But even if I have another shooter, it's the same thing. Like, let's say if I wear like a white, um, a white dress shirt, right? A white shirt, and I'm standing there. Like when I'm moving around, I'll catch people's attention. Like they'll be looking at me or whatever, moving around, and that's called disturbing the ceremony because the ceremony is supposed to be something intimate. You know, it's not supposed to be like flashy, like they're doing it for the cameras. The cameras, the cameras are supposed to be there, but, you know, they're supposed to just be like discreet, kind of like, you know. So that way, you know, the audience, the guests feel like, you know, this is genuine. They're doing it for the love and they're not just doing it for the cameras, you know. So when you are a videographer and you're just going, um, you all up in the bride and groom's face. You're right there in the action. And, um, you know, you're just like going to be in the front and all over the place. Uh, and then you're wearing something like a bright shirt, you know, or a bright T-shirt or whatever. It's just going to, you know, you're just going to draw a lot of attention to yourself. And that's what you don't want. Because there's this one time I did a wedding like three, four years ago where I was like, um, I was in the front and I was all over the place. And um, I don't know what shirt I was wearing because it's three years ago, right? I don't know what color I was wearing. And this guy, one of the, the bride's cousin or whatever he was, or brother, I think, I don't know. He was like, oh, um, you know, you disturbed the wedding because you were all up, you know, you were too much in the front. You know, you were like blocking people from looking at the bride and groom, stuff like that. So, you know, you don't want that to happen, especially if you're wearing something too bright because you're going to call too much attention to yourself. So anything too bright, guys, um, avoid wearing, you know, anything too bright, like a white shirt, red shirt, light blue shirt, neon green, neon colors. Like, why would you wear something like that? You know, you want to be as low-key as possible. You know, another reason why is because, like, you know, you're going to be standing out in the crowd. So you don't want to stand out. You want to be, you want to blend in and you want to, like, just, you know, not be seen when um, when you are out there in the crowd. So that's why, um, that's why I recommend that you don't wear, you know, you don't wear uh, bright colors Especially, like, let's say one of your other cameras is capturing you while capturing the bride and groom. And um, if somebody's watching that footage, they're going to be like, they're going to see you because of the color that you wore. But if you wear black and you're just, like, out there, they're not going to, like, really pay attention to see you. But if you're wearing a bright color, it's so easy. It's easier to see you. And uh, you don't want to be seen, you know. You want to just go there and do your job. Um, You're there to do your job. You're not there to, you know be seen and all that stuff you just there to make your money and um yeah do what you gotta do so don't wear bright colors guys so number four is t-shirts guys t-shirts look unprofessional even if they're black and have your logo on them but yes you get a pass if it's a polo t-shirt if you're wearing a polo shirt you know with the colors and everything um, yeah, you get a pass. That's good. You know, that's professional. But if you're wearing just a t-shirt, like this t-shirt that I'm wearing right now, um, that's very unprofessional because like I say, the wedding is a formal event. Everybody is going to be dressed up, you know, and you know, you're not, you dress casually. Don't be casual, you know, unless if the bride and groom requested or it's the theme of their wedding. But if it's not, just know that a wedding is a formal event and you should be dressed formally like, you you know, it's a tuxedo event. So be dressed formally, guys. So T-shirts, I don't recommend T-shirts. You know, I, I always wear dress shirts when I go to weddings. But enough shirts always, you know, that's what I wear every time I go to weddings. I don't wear no T-shirts. 
even if um, I was thinking about getting t-shirts with my logo on it, uh, I was going to get polo shirts with my logo on it, you know, polo t-shirts with my logo on it. <sighs> but, um, yeah, but I just don't like, you know, they, I don't look, I don't feel like you look that professional, you know. I want to look, um, I want to look like a business person. I want to look like an entrepreneur. I want to look like I know what I'm doing. You know, I feel like you get respected more when you dress, you know, that way than wearing like a polo shirt or a t-shirt. You know, you look like you're part of the crew and everything. I don't want to be part of the crew. I want to be the crew. You know, I want to be the man. So that's just my opinion again. So that's, you can wear whatever you want to wear. As I said, you can wear Speedos, you can wear bikinis, you can wear whatever you want to wear, you know. So it's up to you, but this is my recommendation to you guys. Um, yeah, so like I said, you need to dress accordingly instead of you wearing, you know, t-shirts. Um, another thing is um, you're not just representing yourself, you know, you're also representing your clients. So if you make them happy, they will be more likely to recommend you to, um, you know, their friends and family, 100%. So you're just not representing you. Just always put that in mind. When you go do these weddings, you're not representing just yourself. You're also representing your client. Because how you how how you look there um reflect re reflect. How you look reflects your clients, you know, reflects your client's style and um level of like um class or whatever. So if you go out there, you know, dressed by me and stuff. Um, the guests are going to look at, um, are going to look at you and they're going to look at the clients. They're going to be like, why would they book somebody like this? Somebody, you know, that doesn't know how this dress, like they're going to, you know, a frat party or something or somebody that's dressed like they're going to, you know, the club or they're going to the beach or they they just t-shirt like they're going, they're about to go to sleep. You know, so it's not just, you're not just representing yourself. You're also representing your clients. So put that in mind, like whatever you wear there, whatever you do, you're not just representing you. You're also going to make your clients look bad because they booked you. So which it means they took time to do research on you. They took time to meet with you and all that. So you're going to make them look bad if you look bad, you know. So keep that in mind, guys. So oh, please, just professional, guys. And um, like I said, um, I treat every wedding like an audition. So when I'm there, I'm mindful that somebody else from this wedding might want to book me. So when I'm there, I present myself like professionally. So that way I'm there as, you know, as an audition as well for potential clients. Like, oh, this dude is dressed sharp, you know. I would like to, do, I would like to have this guy shoot my wedding. You know, I would like to have him shoot my wedding because they know that, you know, you just not going to represent yourself. You'll be representing them as well. You're going to make them look good by you looking good, you know. So that, just like I said, you're not representing you. You're also representing your clients, you know. Um, yeah. And um, as you know, I'm sorry for dragging this T-shirt thing, but there's a lot of points in this. Like, as you know, a wedding is a referral-based business. You know, you get weddings from other sources, but mostly also like 80 percent um i might say 80 percent i don't know but 80 over 50 percent of most of my weddings have been from referrals so people referring you to their friends and family like oh he did my wedding he's pretty good you know go check him out whatever go book him and stuff so you know people if you know if you present yourself in a way that's, you know, proper and stuff like that, the way you dress, the way you talk, everything, you know, your clients are more likely to refer you. So referrals, take them serious, guys. Referrals, referrals, referrals are a huge chunk of your business. So, you know, don't be slacking on how you look when you get to these weddings. You're not just going to shoot that wedding. You might get more weddings from that one wedding. So keep in mind, referrals are a big part of this business, of the wedding business. 
So dress representable because you might just be auditioning for your next wedding. You never know, maybe a potential client is watching you closely, you know. So there. Number five is hats. I didn't want to put this on here, but you know what? I don't wear hats, and I wouldn't wear a hat at a wedding, so that's why I'm putting it here. But again, you can wear whatever you want. You can wear Speedos. You can wear bikinis. I don't care. You can wear what you want, but these are my opinions, and this is what I wouldn't wear. I wouldn't wear a hat, a hat at a wedding. You know, I don't care what kind of hat it is, like a dad hat, a Kango hat, you know, do rat, whatever. I, I, I wouldn't wear a hat at a wedding, you know. But, of course, it's up to you. And um, it's really mostly hats, like it's really a, a personal preference. But I personally wouldn't wear a hat, especially at a suit and tie event. Like, you know, you dressed up formally and then you put a hat on. Especially if maybe let's say you have a tie and then you put a hat on. It just doesn't make any sense to me, you know. But um, if it's like a, if it's if you're doing that because of your religion, you know, or because of, let's say, your self-image, that's just how you perceive yourself. That's just how um, you represent yourself as a person, your self-image, then, you know, go ahead, do that. Or maybe you got, you, you know, you have hair loss and you always wear a hat, you know, you can do that. Or maybe you have health issues and um, you, the wedding is going to be, you know, in the sun and you have to put a hat on, you know, that's clear. I understand you can wear your hat, but I'm just saying like um, for people who none of those reasons um, who don't have any of those reasons, there's no reason for you to wear a hat. That's just my opinion. Again, um, I don't think you should be wearing a hat at a formal event, like a wedding, but, um, be sure to communicate your reason with the bride and groom, because, you know, don't just assume and be like, oh, well, I have health issues and I'm just going to wear a hat. Maybe the bride and groom don't want you wearing a hat. So you also, some, sometimes that's why it's good to communicate all the things you feel like the bride and groom won't agree with or that would be a concern. You know, it's always good to contact the bride and groom and tell them, like, hey, oh, guys, I'm going to be wearing a hat because of this and this reason. It's always good to at least let them know rather than assume that they know or rather than just be like, oh, well, they're going to deal with it or I'll let them know when I get there kind of thing. You know, it's always good to let them know in advance. That's my um, opinion and my advice to you guys. Of course, you can do what you want to do. Don't assume it's fine with them. And um, yeah, but I personally think it's unprofessional, but that's just my opinion. You can do whatever you want to do. So the bonus point is tank tops. So tank tops, guys, don't wear tank tops. This goes out for the ladies. I know guys don't wear tank tops. So ladies, don't wear tank tops. You know, don't wear anything that's, you know, like that's going to be too provocative, you know, like showing your cleverage and everything, all that stuff, like, you know, showing your boobies or whatever, like, you know, like, you know, you're not there to showcase your beauty. You're there to, you know, do your work. You know, unless you want to get hit on by random guest goers, guys who are up to no good, of course, because that's the only reason why they'll be hitting you on you. But anyways, I'm just saying like, you know, I don't get how some girls dress a certain way and then wonder why guys like treat them a certain way. It's because of the way you dress. You know, if you dress like a slut, guys will treat you like a slut. If you dress like a classy lady, guys will treat you with class or they'll, you know, some of them won't even approach you because they'll feel like, oh, she's just going to say no. Anyways, so guys, watch how you wear it. Ladies, please dress appropriately, dress accordingly. And, you know, 
just cover up. You know, you don't have to, like, you know, be there to, like, showcase your body or stuff like that. Wear short shorts, short skirts and stuff like that. Like, just be professional. You're there to, to, you know, to shoot the wedding, to make your money and keep it moving. So, you know, just avoid anything that's going to make you stand out. And, you know, like I say, you are there. You don't know if there are people guests that are watching you and want to book you so if they see you dressed like that at their friend's wedding they're gonna be like if she's dressed like a slut at this wedding she's gonna be dressed like a bigger slut at my wedding so you know i don't want my man looking at this slut so i'm not booking this i'm gonna book somebody else who's gonna you know look professional so my my language i'm just saying like that's how some people are you know so just be mindful um, of what you dress and of what you wear because um, other people are looking at you as well. So those are the things that I wouldn't wear at a wedding and um, I recommend that you guys shouldn't wear. So thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll be dropping hits on this channel. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And make sure you like this video, guys. Please like the video. So that way more people can see it. That's what somebody told me. But thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Much love and peace.